Hi everybody. Um, Roz here from New Old Finds. Um, hopefully I am the way I should be. My child is supposed to be checking. If I'm not, make sure I'm not upside down. Um, so hopefully everything's fine. Okay, so today we are going to play with all things fish. We have the Saltwater Life uh, transfer. Okay, thank you. And um, so it comes in three sections, so I'm gonna show you. All the fishies. Fishies, lots of fishies. So this is three sections of all the same print. It's basically three sheets of the same thing. Okay, so you can use it on multiple, multiple, multiple things. So that is transfers, and that was from the last release, which was the spring 2020 transfer release. And then we are also playing with the new mold that came out today, full reveal. And this one is called Coral Reef. And here it is. So you can see that there are, oops, there are fish and um, seaweed and um, what you might call it. What are these? What are these ones called? I forget. Hey, Chris. So um, yeah, we're gonna make fish today, and we're gonna paint them, and we're going to add them to this bucket. This bucket is just a standard, you know, bucket that you can get at um, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Walmart or whatever. I think I got these at Walmart. So I'm gonna use it um, down by the pool, uh, put um, uh, uh, suntan lotion and all that in there. Just keep it handy. So we're going to transfer the bucket and we are also going to do the molds. So I am going to point you down, but first I'm gonna show you which color I'm using for the, the molds. Um, I had an accident with the paint, but anyway. So this is a Bunker Hill Blue from Dixie Belle, and it is a pretty good darn match for what I want to match up with my, uh, with my fishies. All right, so I'm gonna point you down so you guys can see what I'm doing. So don't mind the mess. All right, hopefully you can still see everything that's going on. Okay, cool. I turn so you can see my fishy. I already did one fishy. And let me scoot that out of the way in my drink. I already did one fishy painted and attached. So I'm using, um, I'm using the redesign uh, modeling material, which yes, I know it's discontinued, but that's all that I have on hand. So that's what I'm using. Um, by the way, they're coming out with something else to replace it, so no worries there. But I still really enjoy my modeling material. I have no problem using it. And then I'm also going to use the uh, redesign with Prima Decor Wax, and this one is Blue Ice. And I'm going to use that to highlight my uh, fishies that I use with the molds. So since this guy is dry on here, um, I am going to uh, I'm going to take advantage of that and put my transfers on. So these come in three sheets, like I said, and each sheet it shows you on the back of the tube is 11 and a half or 11.3 inches. So you get a good amount. Okay, so total size for, for the transfer in, in all three sheets is 25 by 34. So that's a, that's a good size. You can get a lot, a lot of projects out of one, one transfer for sure. All right, so I'm just going to take one sheet and 
put the others aside. Okay. And then I'm just want because um, I'm going to cut them out individually because the bucket isn't straight. It's got like a, an angle to it. So if I try to put it on straight, it's going to not, it's going to look strange. It's going to go on an angle. So I am going to cut them out so that I have better control. All right. So I'm just going to take random fishies. All right, I like that fishy, and I like this fishy, and I like that fishy. Oh, I dropped my glue. I'm gonna need that in a minute. I have very small space here. Okay, got three fishies, and then, eh, I don't really want the puffer. I want the pretty fishes. I want the pretty fishies. Okay. And then this one. Okay. So let's start putting some fishies on. I don't know how many I'm going to need. But that's okay. All right. So, I'm just going to start putting my fishies on. <laughs> He's a big one. All right. Let me see if I can scoot it over so you all can see. This is new for me doing uh, horizontal like this. So, not, uh, not 100% used to it yet. Okay, um, good Lord, usually I have 500,000 sticks hanging around, and now I can't find one. Ugh. So I'll just use my scissors real quick. I think it's pretty much stuck on there because of the surface that it is. They stick on there real well. And because I'm going to be using this outdoors in case it gets caught in a rainstorm, I am going to seal it with um, a urethane. Uh, I'm not worried about any kind of um, discoloring or anything like that because of, you know, it's, it's metal. So I'm not worried about that. All right, I got one fishy. Love it, how cute. Okay, and then I need one going the opposite direction. These guys are all going, they're all going the same. Here we go. I'm gonna have to cut out some others going the opposite direction. Hi, right, fishies, come on. Oh, let me move it, there we go. Hey, Kristen. Um. I can't see who said hi. Is that, is that you? I think it is. I see Copenhagen. <laughs> Boop. Okay, I don't have my stick, so I'm using just the edge of my scissors, which, I mean, it works just fine. It's, these are, they are attaching right away on there. They are not, um, they are not having any issues with that at all. I did him a little crooked though, see? But that's okay. Look how cute. <laughs> all right. Next to uh, Finding Nemo dude here. And I will go, since there's a bump, I will stop right here at the bump. And then carry on over. Thank you, Sharon. 
spur of the moment. <laughs> but it's gonna come out really cute and be perfect for down by the pool for my, um, oh, I forgot the word again. My suntan lotions and whatchamacallits. What's the one that avoids the sun? Sunscreen, that's it. Yes, it's like a bait bucket, exactly. All right, and oh, did you guys see that one? I'm sorry, I'm not used to this horizontal thing. There we go. All right, and so I need one going the opposite direction. These guys are, they're all going that direction. Let's see. What other ones do I have? I thought I got everybody. I got the fishy. Oh, I forgot this guy here. Let me get this guy. I guess I'm gonna have to use puffer after all. Otherwise, it's just not gonna look right if they're all going the same direction. I don't want them all going the same direction. And you know, transfers can go over anything. I mean, you name it, they will go over it. They are an equal opportunity transfer. Okay. I'm trying, forgive me for this horizontal stuff. <laughs> it's gonna take me a couple times to get used to it. All right, so like literally all I'm doing is just rubbing this on. It's kind of like when you're putting it on a mirror or putting it on glass, it just, it sticks right onto, um, right onto the metal. I really, I really don't need to do too, too much to it. It just, you know, get the edges, whatever. But for the most part, yes, it's, it's on there. It's stuck. All right. And then, and then, let's see. Put the big long guy up there. And then, okay. All right, I got you. Perfect. Cute. Fishies, fishies, fishies on a bucket for sunscreen. Awesome. All right, and then I put this little cutie right here. Nah, it's too big. So we're gonna have to put puffer here. I was avoiding puffer, I really, really was. But that's okay, we'll put puffer here. Oh. I did not put puffer down flat. I can just use my fingernail. Just go all around the edge and poof, it's done. It's on there. I think I put puffer upside down. I put puffer upside down. <laughs> That's awesome. That's okay. I will, I will fix it. Oh, and get this one. Here's another fun one. See, my molds weren't dry yet, and I forgot about it being on the other side here. Look, I smooshed it. <laughs> so let me take him off and redo him. Because I don't, I don't like that. I was rushing, and I shouldn't rush. But that's okay. We shall take him off and redo him. 
I was just, I had them on there just to show you what it looks like already, uh, already painted, but that's okay. All right, let me see if I got a thing I can scrape. I should have just started with the, no, that's too soft. I should have just started with the transfers and done that. Hey, we can do another one. Let me just scrape off what I got here. No biggie. We will redo it. That was a smooshed, smooshed fish. He looked funny. my hair. Come here. See, we all make mistakes. It's all good. We can fix it. Okay. All right. No problemo. Whew. Okay. So, fishies, we're gonna make some fishies. I already have one fishy made, see? Fishy, fishy, fishy. 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 All right, so we are going to make, I'm gonna remake this little dude because he's the one who fit right there. So you're just going to take your clay or your paper clay or your other clay or your resin or your hot glue or whatever your choice is and put it in the mold. And then make it all fit. Make it flat, take off the excess, and then when you go to take them out, the easiest way is to roll them, which I'll show you in a sec. So you just want to put it flat here, and then just roll your mold. And when you roll your mold, it will just pop right out. And give you a fishy. So this little dude is gonna go in the place of the one that I just took off because I smooshed him. Kind of reminds me of like a, a little baby shark, but I think it's actually supposed to be like a trout or something. All right, so. I am just going to paint it and let me grab my glue that I dropped because I will need that. Hang on. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Oh dear. I think it went under my buffet. <laughs> Yep, it did. Oh, dang it. Hold on a second. Brianna, help. Come here. I'm going to get the kid to help me. Because I can't get that right now. And I need the glue. All right, so we're just going to paint fishies. I need you to do me a favor. My glue fell and it went under the buffet. Can you get the broom and pull it out for me? Please. Please and thank you. 
it's handy to have kids that can help you. Yeah, you might have to like, move some stuff. <laughs> you can't do it that way. I don't know. <laughs> huh? Can't I just reach under with my hands? Uh, you can try. It's pretty far back there, though. I don't know if you can reach it or not. Okay, I got half the fishy done. It's on the on this side. Like, down under on this side. You see it? Can you reach it? Awesome! Yay, thank you! Glue, yay! Yeah, it's not like there's a black hole down here where you can't get it. <sighs> not that far back. <laughs> what? <laughs> She painted. Did you share? Huh? Did you share? Yeah, I shared. Mm. I told you you went upside down too. I saw that. That's glad I'm glad I'm not upside down. Huh? I said I'm glad I'm not upside down. Uh -huh. Okay, just a little dabs of glue, a couple dabs of glue. Thankfully, I have my glue. And putting the glue on. Make sure it's getting everywhere. And then, oh, hang on a second. Let's move the bucket so we can see. Make sure I'm putting this fishy on the right way. Push it down. I could touch up all of these um, little areas and all that after where I had to remove the prior fish. Okay, one fishy. All right, and then paint this fishy. It's a little better when they've um, when they've had like, a, you know, about half hour to dry a little bit, they're a little more, a uh, little easier to, to paint. Okay. This horizontal live is a little different for me. I haven't done lives for very long, so I had got used to doing the vertical ones. And so this is a little different now. All right, and then flip her over. Get some glue on there. Don't need a lot of glue, just enough to give it a good solid coating. You don't want it to be too thick or it squirts out the sides when you go to apply it and we don't want that. All right, so this guy now is going to go here. Okay. 
Okay. And then let's make another. And I'm going to pick these two up here because I want all four of them. Because they're all different fishies. And any of my excess now, I can just scoot it on into the next mold. All right. Anybody have any questions? Okay, that one's gonna be nice and flat now. And just a little bit more for this fishy. And you can do this on furniture as well. It doesn't have to be just on decor items. You can use the the molds on anything, you can put the transfers on anything, put it on all kinds of different furniture. I keep smacking the bucket. Okay, so got my molds. Cover that up so it doesn't dry out. And then remember what I said, flip it over. I'm gonna use that. And then just roll your mold. When you roll your mold, it keeps the fish and the design flat. There. All right. So now we can paint our fishies. I think I'll just leave them right here. Can y'all see? This one is very floppy. And I put it in my hand. Okay. had like a little bit of time to dry they're a little bit easier to to paint when they're still wet like this it's uh they're sticky and the paint just makes them sticky too but that's okay all right so that one is gonna go up there and this one is going to go put it here let it dry a little bit okay and this one no you don't have to wait for them to be dry to glue them on or anything or paint them i mean it makes it a little bit easier just because like i said they get they get sticky they're sticky while they're they're being painted um, and they're floppy. So it's a little hard to, to control them. Plus when they're still soft, like you, when you take them straight out of the mold like this, um, you have the, the higher chance of bending or breaking off something. Like if it's something, if it's a mold that has like delicate features, like the bee with the bee antlers or its legs or whatever, it was a little harder to, uh, to paint it just because you could knock the, the little feetsies off. And this one, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's, it's sticky and I'm getting, you know, getting it all over myself. 
but um, it's definitely a little easier when they're they're a little dry. But nope, you can absolutely do it this way. It's fine. It's just it's just more annoying than anything. All right, so let's glue this one on, and then I'm going to show you the uh, the decor wax over top of the fishies to make them glowing. All right, so let's get this guy all covered in glue. This way, right there. Cute. And then this guy is going to go up here. Okay. We'll just stick him on real quick. I can get my glue out and I'm just using the um, I'm just using Gorilla Wood glue um, it it works great I have no issues with it so I've always just used it I can get it it's easy to get at Walmart which is the closest thing to me to grab any kind of supplies from so that's why I get it Otherwise, you know, Type Bond works, E6000 works. I mean, whatever your preference is, you can use it. Hot glue works too, but I'm not a fan of hot glue, so. All right, and I'm just gonna stick. Whoa, whoa, he ran away. He tried to swim away. This one is a wily fish. All right. And then I think I may add some of the, uh, look how cute. It doesn't look super duper right now, but it will. It will look really cute. I will touch it up after. All right, so now we can take our decor wax. And this is the, uh, this is blue ice, so I don't know if you can see. It looks kind of clear, right? But once you put it on, it has a it has a blue hue to it, sort of like a pinky, purpley hue. It's hard to it's hard to explain, but you'll see. Once I put it on the fishies, see how it makes it just shiny? It makes that fishy just stand out. Pretty fishy. I mean, who doesn't like their fishies to be shiny? I do. I like shiny fish. And then when I coat, when I um, clear coat this, it will be perfectly fine because the decor wax is dry permanent. Um, usually in 24 hours, of course, it depends on your, your, uh, your environment. Um, here in Georgia, everything dries super fast. So usually I can top coat in a couple hours. Can you see the shimmer on the fishies? Isn't that cute? Let me see if my other guys are dry yet. Yeah, see? I mean, that's how quickly it dries here. My paint is already dry on the other fishies. Look how cute. I got some shiny fishies. Sparkly, sparkly fishies. I'm doing this upside down, so I don't know. quite what it looks like. <laughs> it may look terrible, I don't know. It looks good from my perspective though, but who knows. 
All right, let's see if I turn it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look how cute the fishies are. Of course, you know, with the glue and all that, it doesn't look super duper, but I like it. I think it looks adorable. Let me see if I can go closer. Uh, there. Okay. Over, over, up, over. Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. You can kind of see them, right? This whole perspective thing is off on my side. But that looks so cool. They're like iridescent fishies. So that's cool. And then here's the, the, uh, let me go back a bit. I mean, this is hard. I don't know how y'all do this horizontal thing. I'm gonna get it this way. There. Cute. So that's gonna be my sunscreen bucket for by the pool. And I'll probably add a couple more things to it here and there. And don't mind the upside down puffer fish. He's not quite right in the head. It's okay. There's always that one. Yep. That's me. I'm the puffer fish. I'm not quite right. <laughs> think it's cute it's a cute little project and then um yep yeah, I'll just seal it with uh like a good spar urethane and then it'll be waterproof just in case I forget it when I'm you know down there and whatever because I you know I'm upstairs and they're downstairs but anyway yep I think it looks cute all right guys well thanks for coming around hanging out with me while I play with fish and uh, I'll do a, I'll do a cute little stage picture with it so you can see it later. All right. Bye guys.